The Albert Kennedy Trust was established in 1989 by a group of eight volunteers in Manchester, led by Kath Hall at a time when there was much hostility and oppression of LGBT people. They wanted in particular to respond to the crisis facing LGBT youth who were experiencing rejection, abuse and risking homelessness just for being brave enough to come out to their parents. This original group of volunteers were joined by many members of the LGBT community who provided safe homes and later mentoring for young people. In the same year, a 16-year-old gay man, Albert Kennedy, fell to his death from a car park in the gay area of Manchester. The trust adopted his name. Since those early days, AKT has helped thousands of young people across Manchester, London and Newcastle by offering safe homes, mentoring, training, advocacy and support. 25 years on, society can still be a hostile place for many LGBT young people, making AKT's work as vital today as ever. Well, my name's Lee, I'm, I'm 20 years old and I've been with the Albert Kennedy Trust for five months. I moved out of home when I was 14 and came out uh, when I was 15. And when I came out, my mum didn't want me back in the house. She told the whole of my family, they, wasn't, they didn't agree with it. And then so I lived in hostels through being in, under social services care until I was 18. And after that, I then lived with a partner and broke up with that partner. And then I was on the road and then I got put into a hotel. And then after my hotel, I got put here. The day that I, my tenancy had run out in the hotel that I got put in um, was the day that I went to Albert Kennedy Trust for the meeting and pretty much before that I did have no idea what, was, what I was going to do, where I was going to put my clothes, what, like, where I was going to stay and then obviously before meeting them and going to the meeting I was a bit nervous not knowing what to expect, how would I get help, would I get help tonight for that night or what was going to happen and then obviously I had my meeting and then they put me somewhere that night for a three night stop. That it showed me that there's help out there. And if I had probably gone through the Upper Kennedy Trust before, I probably would have got been a lot further right now. My name's Lucy Bowyer and I'm a Purple Door Manager for the Albert Kennedy Trust. Some of the key challenges facing the young people that come to us are domestic violence, abuse, sexual exploitation, low self-esteem, post-traumatic stress disorder, financial issues, substance misuse issues, as well as honour-based violence and forced marriage. Just like when we were founded in 1989, we still place young people with LGBT positive carers who provide a living environment for young people to be able to engage in education, training and employment and move on to independent accommodation. We can also house young people in our Purple Door project. In London, that's a six bed emergency accommodation service for up to three weeks, whilst we get young people a more secure housing option. In Manchester and Newcastle, it's a longer term housing option. We ask them to engage with our life skills programme, which helps them to become independent and move on to accommodation of their own or in further sports accommodation. Purple Door is different. I've been in hostels previously, but this is uh, not a hostel, it's like a home. Um, you know your neighbours, they're very friendly, you get along with everybody, it's like a close community. Um, I've been very grounded since I've been here, like the staff have helped me out a lot, filling out applications and sending off forms. Um, I've got myself back into a routine now where I'm working towards my mentoring, key support working. Well, after this, hopefully I will be going into private renting or renting a room. I'd like to do a lot for Albert Kennedy Trust as well because I think they're a very good trust that will help people. And if it wasn't for them, I would pretty much be on the road right now. Young people can also engage with our mentoring service, which gives them some one-to-one -one positive support around anything that they want. So it could be around their job, their education, their housing situation, or just coming to terms with their sexual or gender identity. We offer young people help with our advocacy services so that we can help them have a voice when they're dealing with local authorities or other organisations. These are very exciting times at the Albert Kennedy Trust and also very challenging ones as we see more young people than we ever have done before. Our hope is in the years to come that we're able to meet need nationally and we're doing work right now to scope out where AKT needs to be next to meet young people's needs. My ultimate hope for the future is that AKT won't be needed and that in the next 25 years we reach a level of fairness, equality and acceptance in society that means that young people 
do not face rejection, abuse and discrimination just for being brave enough to come out as lesbian, gay, bisexual or trans. A18 needs your support so that we can help even more vulnerable, young, gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender people off the streets and into a safe and accepting home. Please text ALBT25 £10 to 70070 to donate just £10 today. Your gift will not only help us provide our vital services, but will also show the young LGBT people we support that somebody really does care and accepts them for who they are. Thank you.